أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم صلى الله على محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين رضيت بالله رب وبالإسلام دينا وبمحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم رسولا ونبيا رب أعوذ بك من همزات الشياطين وأعوذ بك رب أن يحضرون ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم uh, Going through the events that have taken place within um uh, within the past two weeks here in the uh, east area at al bilal uh, the first thing is that a group was formed uh texting uh, about getting things done at the masjid in question and what everybody was willing to volunteer to do. So the first thing uh, we, as the Brothers Brothers Incorporated Brothers, that we requested for there to be a face-to-face meeting instead of there being uh, the group texting. And so uh, four of the members initially came to the meeting, myself being the fifth member of that group, There were actually initially seven people in the group, uh, the group texting. Once we uh, did make it, we did find a group uh, within already the, the, the walls of the masjid. They were not outside, in other words. And uh, they offered or they uh, recommended at least two of them because they have uh, young uh, coordinators who opened up the back office. At that time, we requested or we uh, suggested that we record. Now, there was an introduction, just backing up a little bit, there was an introduction inside of the group chat of the fact that uh, we were vloggers and giving a an extended background as to what uh, our mission was for actually coming. And uh, every last one of the members at that time, and uh, listening, carrying in, we had a young brother who was there, as well as uh, three other sisters initially, one of them having the baby, as we heard. However, um, at the end of the day, there were just uh, myself, the brother, and the two sisters remaining inside of the office. We also uh, stressed at that time that we were there only for the Quran, for the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth that the Quran has. So, uh, you know, beyond that, making it clear that we're no longer in favor of uh, worshiping or being subservient to ideologies that were not of the Qur'an, so that everything had to be from the Qur'an. We also found the lack of uh, understanding of the Qur'an was extremely baffling because we, uh, if you listen in very carefully, you will hear someone quote, you know, halal very clearly, they're quoting uh, khutbah nicely, Uh, and then they say, Iqra, you know, was the first revelation, which is true. But then again, we see or we hear the individual not being able to complete the entire ayah, which was uh, very, very disturbing at that point. Uh, the one who tried to do it actually did it in English and misquoted it altogether. Um, and the other individual who was also at that meeting actually was less knowledgeable than that and we actually heard them claiming not to even be religious but to be spiritual however that's how that went um but our stand was very clear that we are representing or we speak on behalf of the people's republic of la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam And we also let them know that uh, this was a, an effort of Quranic industrialization because that was also uh, text in the, in the group. So 
we were, as, as, as it's transparent, uh, we were very assertive of, you know, each other or however one may word it. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, Yosh truly was there and he called out the time that, you know, was already consumed as well as uh, closing out that meeting. Um, the group chat did continue and what we did inform the entire group, which is inside there, is that uh, this was after uh, the one of the individuals stated that there was re record of the meeting already. So that's clear and that, you know, somebody could see the content of the meeting somewhere. I'm not exactly sure, uh, but that can be retrieved from the group. However, you truly did state that the recording would be posted, which was um, the same the same day that the night of this. Well, uh, the meeting took place on Sunday, so it happened uh, in the evening of that Sunday when it was posted. Uh, once once it was posted and the people uh, got became very aware of the content of it. Uh, they cited, and once they cited the the Boise, decided to refute uh, any type of uh, misconceptions, which did actually come the very next morning in demand uh, from one of the individuals and maybe a, another, I'm not exactly certain, uh, but by the end of the day, we got wind of the fact that they wanted it down. What I did say and make it clear was that it would be a very big task to to do um, because of the fact that the interest at that time was, number one, very high. Uh, number two, that the... Um, Boise, and not just because of the fact that they are a, you know, paramilitary, you know, division, but because of the fact that they're, you know, mostly at this time very in with the guards. And so the guards practically, you know, took a, a stand with the, with the Boise. And from there, apparently, the retired imam's office was involved. And at that time, being that the retired imam's office uh, deals with uh, logistical matters, uh, did in fact support the, the, the criteria in which the, the Boise had at that time. Number one was that the meeting was called by uh, yours truly. And number two, that um, they everybody did give consent to recording, and number three, that everybody also was informed that there would be the publishing of the video, which was done that same day. And so the uh, retired imam's office uh, stood with the Boise also in saying, in citing, that although there was a an order in place to remove any one complaint uh, videos, this would not be the same. And furthermore, cited the Quranic revolution being in its uh, current situation, its current stage right now, with uh, Quranic revolution forever, um, that would also negate the initial um, citing or the initial uh, protocol. And that's how that was. Now, there was an attempt as of yesterday, being Friday, um, by the same group members along, and I would say, uh, in supervision of the uh, imams who are currently at Al-Bilal. And it was actually something in favor, obviously, of being at a complete and total um, I would say for those who thought they were going to receive or achieve something 
It was not done yesterday. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. What winded up happening was that uh, what is being uh, disclosed and being very, very transparent is La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam A. That this is not to be diluted with anything. B. Um, the Quran will not be compromised in any way, shape, or form, whether it's through the social, culture, infrastructure, or whether it is through uh, any other type of uh, compartments or departments, and see that the uh, brothers, brothers and cooperative brothers at this time uh, do cite and second the imam's uh, recommendation to find someone other than yours truly to be involved with the uh, activities pertaining to education at the current understanding or at the current uh, options. In other words, there will be no further uh, elaboration on the matters of education because we are not simply a uh, an Arabic teacher or a teacher of the letters and words of the Quran. One who does that, they may be what you're looking for. And uh, I myself, I do not do that uh, only and of its own, never. Can I, at this point going forward, ever just be a Arabic Quran uh, word teacher? It is an actual Quran culture that I teach, and I understand very well what our people, our indigenous people, have had to undergo. And Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Allah Ta'ala has given us the solution, the one ticket out of it, which is Al Quran. اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين الحمد لله رب العالمين